Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about weekly stock market update and we will figure out is it still bullish trend on weekly time frame what's going on with the stock market world. Let's move to trading view. Let's start from uh, crypto hit, I'm sorry, uh, stock market hit map on weekly performance. It's a weekly performance all USA companies based on the market cap. Looks like all all green a lot of green all green except huge large mega stocks like amazon google microsoft meta even let me nvidia apple looks like yeah high tech except tesla test only tesla so bullish plus 16 percent looks like high tech on weekly performance is kind of weak kind of weak okay let's move now to to watch list and let's start to do technical review let's start from queues and uh, on weekly time frame i remember i don't trade on a weekly or monthly time frame i, I trade my for swing trading i'm using four hours or daily time frame for entry and exit position but i do monitor weekly monthly and quarterly trend direction that's the purpose of this video and at the same time, uh, let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using moving averages. White line says SMA 200, yellow line says SMA 20, EMA, EMA 20, uh, red line SMA 10, green line SMA 5, buy and sell script indicator, MACD indicator, green line bullish, red line bearish, white it's a signal line, high Kanachi, green bars bullish, red bars bearish, yellow line it's rsi rsi line weekly time frame okay and if you want to learn more about trading your setup just go to the description there is the link about trading your setup training and other links about all my trainings you can quickly and easily learn this style this style is very simple let me show you look at it when bars was below 20 this is yellow line 20 when ma5 and 10 and bars below 20 it is bearish trend you see it did bearish crossover here bars moved below 20 and from that point it was bearish trend bearish trend till the end when ma5 10 and in bars moved above 20 it 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 was bullish crossover and from that point it is bullish trend you see we are still in the bullish mode this is big and it works for any time frames okay let's start weekly weekly uh for let's start weekly for uh queues queues the most powerful the most powerful uh index and you see from october low straight bull up well, actually from here from june from beginning of this year for last five months straight bull trend bull run from new year you see ma20 was ready to do bearish crossover it is very dangerous when 20 does bearish crossover on the weekly time frame but it did bounce from from 200 20 bounce from 200 that saved the world <laughs> but yeah some days this year it will do bearish crossover still that bearish crossover on 20 happened uh, last time in, in 2008 it will happen again we'll see but it did bounce it was ready for it just one bar away one bar away it moved up okay last bar last bar it's a flat flat bar price action didn't move anywhere it's in decision mode usually this in decision mode it's a market change direction you see here it changed direction here it changed direction here it change direction it can go up or can go down it's a it it's a dodgy bar it can looks like it will be reversal it will be reversal from this bar previous bar was kind of flat this bar flat it will be reversal because but this two blue line it's a gap it's a gap above i i still think it will it will jump up fill the gap and it will sell off next week that's what i'm expecting some jump up it's not necessary maybe not because it did touch fill 
how gap works in touch field and it, it touch the gap and it can be rejected from the gap in another scenario it can fill the gap and can be rejected that's what we expected it touched the gap it can be rejected okay last bar very far from 20 very disconnected from 20 for a long time it definitely wants to connect back to 20. Uh, MACD very overbought, RSI very overbought, stayed around 45 level, very overbought, definitely it wants to have some correction. Strong bully, bullish trend on all indicators. Let's move to daily time frame. Daily time frame, similar bullish, but it sells signal from the script. MA5 wants to do bearish crossover, MACD ready for bearish crossover, Heikanachi already and RSI already did bearish crossover on daily time frame it's ready for bearish reversal it, it doesn't mean that it will do ready for crash it can still bounce and fill that gap and will continue we'll see we'll see next week next week it can be it should be it should start correction we'll see and that's that's all let's move to uh S&P 500 weekly time frame. S&P 500 weekly time frame similar. It bounced from October low, bounced from 200, touched 200 for three weeks, and bounced. Since that time, it is bullish, right? Last bar above all moving averages. It is very powerful, very bullish. This blue line, it's a level of August 2022. It touched level. August 22. It definitely from this level it can be because it can it, it is re, uh, resistant from this level you see it's a lot of resistance here it can be rejected can be rejected especially now it's disconnected from 20 also bullish trend are assigned over bad territory over bad territory it's it it is positive it is bullish on weekly time frame we'll see next week will it connect it back to 20 or it will continue to move up it did move uh, around 4322 bullish trend and it is also very strong resistant level because uh, you see it's a lot of a lot of around 4300 a lot of resistant a lot of resistant a lot The top was 4,800, right? We are 500, 500 points away uh, from the all-time uh, all time high. Bullish trend, still bullish trend. Let's move to daily. Let's see daily. Daily bullish trend. Also last bar disconnected from 20, far from 200. MACD bullish, RSI bullish. High can I green bullish? All indicators bullish. It has some bearish divergence on RSI, on daily time frame, on MACD is flat. Price action uptrend. It, it definitely wants to have correction. Bullish trend. Uh, let's see. Let's move to back to uh, Q's. Q's weekly time frame. Uh, let me show you. You see this price action. You see, I, I told you this this level. It's a level of April 2022. S&P in August level. This level. S&P weaker. S&P just reached this level. August. Qs reach April level. April level. It's a lot of resistance on this level. You see, it's also a lot of resistance, a lot of resistance from this level. That's why Qs can easily be rejected from this level because a lot of resistance. And it's not, it's very close from the uh, all time uh, high, right? It's for 410. It touched 300, 360. It's a 410, 50, 50 points away. Still 50 points away from the all-time high. And this on daily time frame, on weekly time frame, you see this blue box, white box. It is a gap that I told you. Okay. 
that's yeah that's why i mentioned that the q is the strongest index let's move to uh, uh to dow jones dow jones weekly time frame let's see dow jones you see it, it just it didn't move anywhere for last 12 months it's on the same level same level from last it's august august level yeah from april yeah same same price action it's real price action is kind of dancing between the same price action if you put the line it will be same line for last for last 12 months didn't move anywhere still positive still bullish it's a bullish camera bar bullish bar green bar green indicators on all time frame on all indicators MACD green Heikonachi RSI it's a positive bullish but MA5 MA green line still below 10 mm, it is it is kind of yeah it's kind of weak because like because MA5 still below 10 I would not trust this bull run it can it can be bull trap this round can be bull trap because MA5 still below 10 we need to bring MA5 above MA10 to have a bull bullish position price action is uptrend but MA5 position is still kind of negative MACD kind of also flat you see it was red and it it, it merged with the signal line it's it's flat Heikonachi was red but it moved to green kind of small green very weak very light green it's no powerful bar no powerful bar are a sided bullish crossover kind of yeah kind of positive but it's very weak and flat i would consider it's a flat flat on all indicators but this week it's very weak but it's still positive still positive very weak previous week was very strong this week is it's kind of uh, positive but weak let's move to daily time frame for dow jones and let's see daily it's a bullish right ma5 buy signal ma5 is bullish crossover last bar above all moving averages macd bullish rsi hikonachi all bullish on daily time frame very positive on daily time frame let's move iwm iwm weekly time frame weekly time frame buy signal ma5 did bullish crossover over 10 last bar did bullish crossover over all moving averages very bullish very powerful run from bearish territory because it was very oversold in bearish territory just two weeks ago look at it from this bar it started from this bar very oversold state it moved very quickly to positive above 200 and positive territory all moving averages still below 200 still in negative territory but bar already moved to positive macd green bullish Heikonachi bullish bullish it's not overbought just positive just bullish run but remember moving averages 5 10 and 20 still below 200 still bearish territory it the price action can easy quickly move back to 20 because it's like magnet right moving averages still below 200 still in the bearish territory positive bar but bullish trend but remember about that positive territory it can quickly to bring back price action let's see daily time frame daily time frame uh, daily time frame bullish on macd green bars Heikonachi bullish are sign very overbought state and uh, yeah bars also in the positive territory the ma5 10 and 20 did bullish crossover over 200 positive bullish trend on daily time frame it's a positive and it's it's, it's only you see this last three bars very disconnected from 20 definitely wants to connect back to 20 because they even dis disconnected from 10 very far from 10 it, it definitely will be correction next week to connect to connect bars to 
to moving averages. Let's move to Apple. Apple weekly, let's see. Apple weekly bullish trend. Price action, let's see. This is level. This is top of the market, all time high, right? This was all time high level. And Apple moved this week, Apple moved above all time highs. It did, it did new all time highs record. And it was sold off after that. It touched, it made all time high and it was sold off red bar uh, still bullish trend you see right price action all moving averages still bullish macd green bullish rsi very overbought state it definitely wants to have correction it's it's still in the overbought state all indicators bullish and overbought state just let's see daily time frame what's going on with apple apple daily it's kind of flat it's dancing around moving averages didn't conform bearish crossover yet still positive still bullish macd is still green still bullish rsi also and heikonachi is still bullish still bullish trend on daily time frame for apple also now let's move to Tesla. Tesla is very bullish, very powerful. For last four weeks, you see strong bull run for Tesla for last four weeks. It's full. It's very dis very far from 20, disconnected from 20. It touched level of October 22. The low was in, in the January 2023. And uh, now it's a level October 22 almost almost there bullish trend like i said last bar disconnected from 20 macd bullish touch zero level zero level and high connection and rsi bullish bullish on weekly time frame for tesla let's check daily what's going on daily with tesla huge gap up right this gap will be filled on weekly time frame and it's bullish last bar disconnected from 20 very disconnected from 20 definitely will have some correction it has also gap below also gap below let me make it this gap white box to show it to you this is the gap and below the gap now we are it is between yeah it's still about the gap it will definitely close this gap next week bullish trend but be ready tesla will close this gap next week and at the same time it can this is the level of october it can bounce to this level let me go is there yeah there is the gap you see here is the gap very large kind of gap from uh, 257 to 56 to 58 sorry 258 up to 260 to 62 four dollars gap four dollars gap tesla can still bounce oh, i'm sorry Still can bounce, still can bounce and come and fill this gap, fill this gap, and and after that it will be sell off. It's absolutely possible. Here is the gap also. Um, that's what we have with Tesla. And on the on daily time frame, it's very overbought on RSI, very overbought state. And it definitely very disconnected from 20. It definitely wants to connect back to 20. Even it's disconnected to 5. At least it can move down, connect back, fill the gap, connect it, connect back to, to, to 5 and, and 10. It's powerful bullish trend because MA20 did bullish crossover over 200. It is powerful. It is very powerful. But at the same time, it's in overbought state. Or Tesla. Uh, let's move to Baba. 
Alibaba group the weekly time frame let's start weekly time frame last bar still below all moving averages very far very oversold very bearish on moving averages still sell signal from the script MACD red Heikonaichi red all indicators bearish on has bullish divergence but still bearish bullish divergence on RSI you see this this blue line the price action even price action was downtrend RSI uptrend it means it's a bullish divergence you see uptrend and it's also possibility that it will test this low this level this line this lower it, it, it can make double bottom it can make double bottom and, and bounce from this level that's what can happen never know we'll see it can continue and do bearish trend because it's still very weak it's still below all moving averages still very weak on weekly time frame uh, let's move to daily daily it's also weak because all moving average is below 200 this bearish territory but price action is positive because it moved above ma20 ma5 did bullish crossover over 20 it's a positive signal we'll see positive signal on daily time frame it is positive on weekly it is still it is still negative still bearish now let's move to nvidia nvidia weekly time frame nvidia weekly is still bullish still in overbought state this white box is a huge gap 20 percent gap 60 dollars gap still bullish trend and remember last bar it's a dodgy bar very disconnected from 5 10 and 20 still disconnected from all moving averages it definitely wants to connect back to moving averages very overbought daily time frame it's already did bearish crossover sell signal from the script my five did bearish crossover my cd bearish crossover i can actually recite bearish reversal signal and this box this gap will be filled and will be closed possible it can be next week maybe partially not fully because it closed 20 percent gap it will take some time and next week can, can be very very yeah because of the fed it can be quick sell off we'll see if, if if fed will do surprise right will raise the rate market doesn't expect that raise uh that's absolutely possible we'll see let's move to dxy dxy on weekly time frame is still positive still bullish the last bar is still above all moving averages that's very bullish very nice buy signal still from the script my five did bullish crossover over 10 and 20 bullish trend on weekly time frame dollar is bullish i like it daily time frame dollar is is negative it was sell signal and my five did bearish crossover over 10 last two bars it it just bounce it just dancing around 20 my 20 it can bounce from 20 20 can be strong support and it can bounce from it but as of now it's a my five did bearish crossover sell signal from the script and we see the bearish or the all indicators in the bearish trend but possible that it will bounce next week from a May 20 but trend is bearish on daily time frame on weekly it is still bullish that's what we have but let's do summary like i already mentioned and uh, next week it can be a surprise i think monday tuesday it will be kind of flat because the market will wait for fed meeting we'll wait for fed meeting fed will market market expected that fed will do pause will not raise the rate but uh, recently 
central bank raised the rate in Canada, in in uh, in Australia, yes, it, and the data in in USA very very positive. It's absolutely possible that Fed will do another quarter rate uh, raise, and it will be a surprise for the market, and market will do sell off. Market can do sell off next week. So far, everything positive, everything bullish from my watch list, all bullish. Uh, except Nvidia did bearish reversal on daily, BABA kind of on weekly negative bearish. All other, all indexes bullish, Qs very bullish, but still in very overbought state and ready for bearish correction. Very for, ready for bearish correction because it's very, very overbought. That's all from my side. Be careful. Next week will be very, very very interesting. As usually, Fed week is always a yeah, few, few days before meeting that will be kind of flat. No action. We'll see. No action. Uh, crypto world already has some action. Today, some crypto already. If you see from my list, you see like ADA minus 17, 80%, Ethereum classic minus 15%, Bitcoin minus 10%, Ethereum minus 6%, Bitcoin minus 3%, it's already Binance minus 9%, it's already negative action in, in, in the crypto world. In the crypto world. That's all, let's move to disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. And remember, for educational purpose, we are using paper trading account. Thank you for watching simple trading style video. I do publish daily updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and weekly updates and monthly updates for crypto, for all kind of securities. Please subscribe for YouTube channel, click like button to support the channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.